Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today we are out in sunny Canada because it's super warm out today and celebrating that it is spring, I am here with a guy on my channel who hasn't been here since he puked on this table. It's Griffin! So today he's gonna be helping me unbox six of the new Super Soaker Blasters and celebrating that it's spring, warm weather, I figured now is an appropriate time to take a look at some of the water toys you will have for this summer. So without further ado, let's get into it. We have so many guns here today, we can't even fit them all in the shot. So we're gonna go one by one. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be doing an overview of six of what looked like my favorite blasters of choice. We're gonna start off with the two pressure tech systems, which are like the first super soakers with triggers the Nerf has brought back in a very long time. So the one I'm gonna be looking at is the H2 Ops Tornado Scream. And the one I'm looking at is the H2 Ops Squall Surge. Is that right? Squall Surge. Squall Surge. Okay, so pressure tech system, they've got uh, basically, like I said, it's been a very long time since Nerf has done this, but they brought back the triggers. So the Tornado Stream and the Squall Surge are both fairly similar blasters. The uh, Tornado Stream is the bigger one of the two. And uh, obviously no darts with these guys because for water power. This is awkward to hold. Is it? Yeah. Hold that. Oh, that's horrible. It it's so good weird. on the shoulder, but okay. It feels so weird. Both handles on these blasters are really tiny. And I feel like with water wars, when your hands get wet and stuff, this is going to be super uncomfortable. Like, like it's just genuinely uncomfortable because like, it's hitting right here when you're trying to put your like, when you're trying to like hold it. Your fingers, it's like the thumb well is too small because the bladder gets in the way in the back and it just, it just doesn't fit your other three fingers. It's, I think that one, the bigger one is gonna still be better than this one. For sure. You wanna try to switch again? It's just, this one's just so uncomfortably. No, this one, the handle's almost worse because it's got some notches. Right here, it's not as big so like, Half my thumb doesn't even get in there. Okay, so right off the bat, these blasters aren't the comfiest, but uh, they are a trigger power, so we'll see if that holds back up and, uh, I don't know, takes it back over. We need a hose. Where the hose at? Hey, saw it, dude. Out here, double fisting all day long. Straight up, start repping, cuz. We don't mess around here, yo. You run up on me and my gang, we'll super soak you, boy. Okay, so we're gonna fill these guys up with water. Don't put all the water in because uh, you have to just just enough that it will function. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pump these up as many times as it takes. Get our first initial test fire. Oh. Yep, I've got a full. Do you? Yep. Okay, so you're gonna know they're full when you pump and you hear the air escape out the back. Basically, there's a pressurized system, so there's a pressurized air bladder in the back, and when it gets to full air capacity and you push, it's just gonna release the air out the back so you don't overexpand the bladder. So, uh, you wanna shoot behind us so that we can kinda see the spray. Okay, I guess, there, I guess there wasn't enough water in there, but uh, let's see yours. All right, so what I found is, this is called the Tornado, the tornado oh. Scream. This is called the Tornado Scream because it has one single shot that fires at the front and then a smaller one that rotates around it. So it looks really cool in the air, but it doesn't go as far as the smaller Squall Strike because the Squall Strike is just one concentrated beam, and this is more of a spread. Uh, this one holds slightly more water, but I think it's also gonna shoot more water at once. So I think... I would say go with this one. I would say go with that one. It's cheaper. It's gonna use... You may have to refill a little It's gonna be more conservative. more? No, because it's gonna be one single spray, whereas this is two. So yeah. maybe a little more conservative with your uh, water, and uh, it's cheaper, and I think even the handle on this one's more uncomfortable. So, uh... 
Yeah, I mean, I think the Squall Strike wins this round. We're not really doing rounds, but I mean, I would say go for that one if you want trigger tech. Okay, so next up, the rest of the four that we have are just regular Super Soaker, no trigger tech, but this is the Breach Blast. And mine is the Scatter Blast. And uh, the only main difference, this one's 50 fluid ounces, this one is 22 fluid ounces, uh, this one's gonna go 10 meters, this one's gonna go 11.5 meters, so this one's gonna hold more water and shoot further. Okay, we've got to switch over cameras, kind of a pain in the butt trying to find good ones, but uh, we got a super rig on right now, so hopefully the quality is great. Uh, so we left off taking a look at the breach blast and the scatter blasts, and uh, while I was looking for different cameras and stuff, Griffin, what did you find out about these? Well, about mine, uh, it's kind of awkward to uh, put on the lid, because like you have to hit it perfectly. There's two little uh, indents. Oh, the lid leaks too. Yeah. And then there's also a little little hole. You guys definitely can't see that, but uh, there's a little hole, so water's gonna come out like that. When you tip it upside down. So especially like when you're running and stuff with it, it's gonna be all over you, which is not very good because the whole point is to try and stay dry for as long as you can. Oh yeah, you have to like put it on almost like a like a Nerf barrel. You have to put it on and then twist sideways. Yeah, and it has to be perfect. Dang. All right. Well. Apart from that, the Breach Blast does shoot way further, holds way more water, so. It's still gonna go about just as far as your trigger tech. Let's shoot it behind us. So as you can see, mine is a steady beam. Mine's five different. Five different beams. Ugh. Uh, but they're going about as far as the trigger tech, but you have to pump them way less. Obviously, you're gonna get just as far as the trigger with each pump, but you're gonna have to pump it every time you wanna fire. Whereas once you have those trigger techs fully pumped, you could just go around like semi-automatic firing at people. So, uh, you know, these ones are cheaper because they don't have that trigger tech. But the cap's kind of annoying. I don't know if I'd really recommend either of these. I still I wouldn't, definitely not this one. Look, if you just want a simple blo a simple super soaker where you that you're used to, you pour in water, you pump, and it just fires, I think the breach blast is the way to go. Yeah, definitely not this one, especially because of the hole in the back, which is One super single annoying. stream, you it feels more like a rifle, uh, or like, you know, like a real shot, whereas... This one doesn't even feel like accurate, it's like it, all over the place. It, doesn't, it feels kind of cheap, because the water's yeah. just going to go everywhere, so... Breach blast! Alright, and now the last two out of our lot. This one's probably the most unique. This is the bottle blitz. So the way it works is it comes with a bottle you fill up with water, but the nozzle is the exact same threading as a regular water bottle, water bottle or like soda bottle or anything. So you can fill up a soda pop bottle, like a two liter bottle, screw it on and you essentially just got two liters every time you screw on a new bottle. So this one looks like it's gonna be the best and quickest for refilling. And uh, what is yours? Mine is the freeze fire. It's got a reservoir in the top where you can pour in ice cubes and keep the water freezing. So, uh, let's get them open. Okay. This one's by far the comfiest. It's comfy? Can I see? Oh yeah, that's good. That's, that's a really nice handle. And when we're saying is if stuff is comfy or not, we are referring to like larger hands than the typical person, but it is good to know that even like if you just want to get out and have fun with your kids or whatever, these blasters like the freeze fire are still going to be comfortable for any right, size hand. I don't hand. think yours works. So for mine, you have to kind of feed this, this tubing, which is going to suck the water. It's actually got a safety, so it won't draw back when you're out of water. There's, a, there's actually a spring in here, and it senses when this is dipped in water, and when the suction part's dipped in water, then it'll prime. So, let's fill up my bottle. Oh yeah. It's good? This one by far. Really? Right, look at this. Oh wow, the freeze fire, shoot it behind you, between the trees. Check this out guys. That is a great spread. Yeah, this one by far is the best one. Okay, so what I find about this one, it's really cool, but the handle's tiny. The, the mechanism is really, really cheap. Uh, the, the priming rod's really flimsy, and 
Can I spray you a little? Yeah. If you press really hard to get it to go as far as you want, it's the stream won't go further. It'll just start splitting going <laughs> So you kind of have to go really soft if you want that nice single stream. And it's also really, really hard to draw back the water. So no matter how hard you press, it's just gonna split the stream. I think the maximum distance I'm getting on this is like, I don't know, what does it claim? Probably like 25, 30 feet. I do think it's nice that you would be able to hook up a big two liter bottle to this thing and have water like way longer than your opponents. So I'll show you guys the reservoir. So I really like how you fill this thing. It's a really, really big hole. So you're not gonna have to try and get the little stream in. You can just take a hose, shove it in. Um, and then of course you throw in ice cubes if you want, or if you don't throw in those ice cubes, you have more water. You can just pop it on. Really? Down. Yeah, lid super easy to get on. Not off though, it's hard to get off, but. Dude, it's the best one. This one's awesome. It's a very short draw, which I was worried about. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is definitely the one to get. This is like King, King Super Soaker. So my bottle Blitz has a fluid ounce capacity of 15.7. Mine's 23. 23 fluid ounces. And mine's ready to go 35 feet. I found I wasn't quite hitting that. It was closer to 30. And yours, what does yours say? 38 feet. So yours is close to 40. I think this one has like one of the furthest distances. It's the comfiest handle, easiest to fill up, and uh, pretty good capacity too. I just think the freeze fire is the best. Now, here's the thing. I went to Toys R Us and I picked out six of what looked like my favorites. They also have many, many more. So if you guys want to see more summertime super soaker videos or maybe even a super soaker nerf war, be sure to like this video, all that stuff. And if you want to see Griffin more videos, let me know in the comments below because say you love making these. I love, I love making these. You love making I, these? I love them. I love making them. Okay, he loves making I them. I love it. Okay, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every single Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions. And Griffin. Signing off.